Hi guys, my name is Stephen Stallone. We are in London, a secret location. Um, we previously caught up with Peter De Silva. He performed at our launch party, um, which was a while ago now. But we've decided to come back and catch up and find out what he's really about. We didn't get a chance to meet him properly before, but we're here with him now, so we're going to find out a bit more about him and what he's about. Hi, Peter, how's it going? Hi, uh, I'm good, yeah. Good, good, good. So you performed for us live at our launch party. Um, I'd say your sound is quite um, R&B soul. Would you agree with that? Yeah, um, I really like soul and that's where my, most of my inspiration is from. Um, and I love acoustics, so yeah, I'd say like acoustic soul. Yeah, that's really my sound. People like Amy Winehouse, people like um, Maverick Sabre, these kind of soul artists. Like Leanne Havis. Right. Yeah. I am equally obsessed with Leanne. People who know me know that I'm obsessed with her. She's a really, really amazing artist. Um, I saw her perform live as well and she's fantastic. She is amazing. I mean, and even when we saw you live, um, you were really, really good as well. I mean, where did your um, sound come from initially? Like, when you grew up, who did you listen to? When I, when I started growing up, I used to listen to literally everything and anything. Um, just basically what was handed to me, because I was quite young and I didn't have a specific interest in music. Um, so it's really more like the start of my teenage years that I started getting into music. Um, people like Lauren Hill, I started looking at old soul people like Ray Charles, James Brown. Um, I think Christina Aguilera as well, her voice. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Christina Aguilera? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Amazing. Why, why Christina? Nah, just the soul in her voice. I like soulful voices. Okay. And I, yeah, so I really respect her on that. She's, she's like a raw talent. Okay. And yeah, it's people like that that I yeah, respect, which wow. is really good. Like her Back to Basic and Strip album, that was one of my favourite albums. So. That was a good time. I can agree with you on that one. So why Christina, not Britney? Because they're... Mm, you can't really compare the two. I don't think they do the same thing. Um, Christina, because literally, because of the soul, because of the rawness of the voice, because of the power in her vocals, um, and because of the control in her voice as well. So, Pierre, you talked about some festivals you've got coming up. Can you tell the guys at home a bit about those? Uh, well, I'm doing my first festival, my first ever festival this summer. It's, um, it's called the Cock and Ball Festival, and it'll be from the 26th to the 28th of July. Um, I'll be to, um, at a farm called Jamie's Farm, and it'll be about 500 people with a um, range of music from folk to Afro beats. And yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm really looking forward to meeting new people, making new fans, and yeah, sharing my music. Okay, nice. What are the dates for those? 26th of July till the 28th. And um, also, I just want to throw this in there. We've interviewed quite a few people from Corner Maynard through to Rizzle Kicks um, and also a few others. Are they the sort of people that you'd want to collaborate with in the future? Would you perhaps do a collaboration of, I don't know, maybe Rizzle Kicks or Corner Maynard? I like Rizzle Kicks, yeah. I really like their, that they're different and no one's really doing what they're doing right now. So you've got a bit of a hairdo situation going on, which is quite cool. I'm going to comment on that because it's 2013, but you've decided to go for more of a retro, old school, kind of 90s-esque kid and play feel. Can you explain that to the guys at home? Um, I think it just happened naturally. Uh, like It used to be literally just like a, a fade and it just started growing. But yeah, now it's called the crown. So yeah. Maintenance wise, what do you have to do? I literally, not much. Like people think that I put all sorts of products in it, but not really. I just comb it out and just, yeah, that's really it. Nice. Okay, so you mentioned previously you had some gigs coming up. Um, where can the guys check you out if they want to find out, you know, where you're playing next? Um, really, my Twitter. Uh, it's at Pierre De Silva or Pierre underscore De Silva. So P I E double R E underscore D A S I L V A. Um, and I post any gigs I've got coming up, any filming, because sometimes I have done a, a few um, filming sessions in the past where audiences can come in and be part of like a live okay. audience. So if there's anything like that where people can actually come and get involved, it'll all be on my Twitter. Uh, yeah, so like gigs and stuff, that's all on there. Videos, uh, music that I'll be putting out, it's all on my Twitter really. I didn't, tell you, I didn't warn you about this before, but I thought I'd throw it in there. Would you be cool to do a quick acapella for us? I, can you can you throw a vocal out there? Um, you might not have warmed up for this. This wasn't planned, guys. I have not at all. Um, wow. Okay, um, yeah. We were young, we were free Oh, we were never meant to be You were cool, intelligent and pretty And I was me Now I'm just a memory You let me go just like the breeze I thought you thought much more of me but you still mean the world to me, Stephanie. Yeah. 
Woo! Okay, so that was exciting. You've actually generated a back. This is exciting times. Okay, well that was that was shocking. That was shockingly good. Um, well, thanks so much for that. Much appreciated. And we will we will check you out. Um, your live stuff and when you're playing festivals, we will be there. Well, I'll be there anyway. I don't, I don't know about beach, but I'll definitely be there.